everybody, we have lots to do today, but one thing I need to do is to go buy some Gruyere cheese because I have something I've been dying to make and I'll share with everybody. So come on, you guys, let's get started. everybody good morning good morning welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to loving it on keto how is everybody doing we are having a major major extreme uh, heat warning yes we are it's supposed to get 109 it's supposed to get up to 117 this week and they are uh, setting out a warning every day regarding that so yeah here we are, sunny Arizona. Hey, you guys, I need to go get a pedicure with my daughter, Felicia. Then we are going to go and, um, well, I got three things to do. My back. We have to go get your decompression, your massage, your EMS treatment. And then we need to go to Costco for sure because I have some things I need to buy for what I want to make today that I've been thinking about. Yes, I am. So I'm going to share all those things. And uh, we paid for this bundle of treatments for Harry at the beginning because the insurance doesn't pay for it. So he's got just a few more treatments left in July uh, of what I have paid for, for all of the things that we paid for up front. And I think I want to save a couple so that when we go to Idaho to see my sister and uh, go visit my mom and dad's uh, grave in um, Washington State where she was um, buried, uh, I think I want to save a couple for when we get back just in case Harry has an issue with his back because um, I paid for so many, you know, over the course of two months for everything and I got a 10% discount, thank heavens, because when you're paying thousands of dollars for something you know it's nice to be able to have some kind of a discount yes it is because same with the MRI same with the vi Valium that he had yesterday you guys it's just crazy um, yeah it's expensive yes indeed but my Harry he's worth it yes he is anyway you guys there was something else I had to do Costco. I have no I have where's my phone Where's my, oh, and I got my Anthony's Premium Butter Powder. Finally, thank you so much because I'm almost out of the alternative one that I have. So I got two sacks. One came and I'm like, where's my other one? I ordered two, right? Then this one came today. It was back stock, back stock, back stock, which happens. But let me get my phone because there's something else we need to do, Harry. Hold, please. I'm back. Let's see. Every day, it's, it's something. Oh, your blood draw. You gotta go. You uh, gotta leave here in 15 shoot. minutes to go get your blood drawn. You then that. I got a nail appointment. Then I got decompression for you. So you guys, we need to get out the door because Harry needs to go get his blood drawn. Yes, indeed, and it's fasting. You mm -hmm. need to drink a glass of water, and then you need to head out the door, Harry. So you guys, come on back in the next segment. I knew there was three things. Thank goodness I saw this, Harry. Hey everybody, we are at Costco. Harry had a lot done today. He had decompression, massage, EMS. So he needs to walk. We're at Costco because I need to get some Gruyere cheese. Yes, I do. So that's why we're here. We're gonna check it out, look around, let Harry walk it out. So come on dear, let's get going. I always have to look at the jewelry. Look, I'm just looking. That's right, right just looking. <laughs> Never can have enough diamonds. Come on, Harry. I guess it's Halloween is the next big one. We need to check out the guitar guy over here, the skeleton with the mohawk. Okay. Come here. With the mohawk. Where? Right oh, there. yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> He's rocking out. Skeleton with a mohawk. I like the pumpkins myself. I'm more, I'm more classic than crazy, I think. Yeah. Oh, Christmas in July. 
They, they're breaking out paper and the ribbons already, folks. <laughs> Cheese, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for a Gruyere cheese, and that's how Wendy speaks and pronounces it. Gruyere cheese. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. What is this? I could eat this whole block right here, this blue cheese. Yep, that's the issue. Oh, here it is, Le Gruyere. Hey, I want another bologna sandwich, by the way. You do? Yeah. I'm so excited. What, did I want a bologna sandwich? I'm going to make something with this today. That's what I'm excited about. I'm not excited. You can have your bologna. Let me go this way. I want to check out the cheese. I want to see what other cheeses they've got. Oh. I love cheese. That's the issue. They've got halloumi. You guys, they have halloumi here. Do you guys like to fry your cheese and you like halloumi? Yep. $21.99 a pound. Woo! That's $21 worth of cheese. Too rich for my blood, even. I'll go for the goat cheese by Kirkland that's $7.69 for two, yeah. two things. I mean, it's beautiful, but stay, stay. Ooh, it's eleven ninety nine. You need to get two of them. I'm gonna get two. This is really good bacon, you guys. It really is. You cannot tell that it's uh, low sodium and no sugar. I know it's it's really it good. It tastes great. Not well, as thin. Do, I mean, it's thinner than what I you know. I like this. Are, are we gonna chicken. do a bacon fast? Should I get yeah. three? Yeah, I want you to get three because I think. But I think we should do that, or at least an egg and bacon. I think we should do an egg and bacon well, fast. Why don't we just do beef, bacon, butter, and eggs then, silly. <laughs> <laughs> a BBBE diet? Yes, indeed. I need one egg, so if we're going to do that. So one little get, egg? Well, I got four. I got. Well, you got not so you'll have packs. five eggs at, at home. I got. Why'd well, you buy a whole pack? So just one egg. Okay, dear. Go into the coldness. Yes, we're gonna try one. We're gonna try quail eggs. Yes, we are. While well, they still have them, that'll be like a meal. One. I'll eat eight or ten of them. It will be. You know? So, look, two dozen eggs. That's for these. So the organic ones. So I'm getting my organic ones. Yeah, that's what I like. And I'm getting my quail eggs. I'm gonna try quail. Should I get two quail eggs or one? That's like a meal. It's like two meals. Anyway, it's cold. Look, it's freezing. Ah, let's get out of here. Five dozen eggs for nine seventy nine. So that's where we go, you guys. We get like a whole stack. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs are coming down. Eggs are coming down. Butter, not so much. Wow. Wow. Come look at this. Kerrygold's gone up to $14. Come look. Really? Yeah. It's gone up to $14.49. And look, the Kirkland grass fed's gone up to $10.99. It used to be, a few months ago, this was $9 something. 
now it's $10.99. I think I'm gonna grab another. Every time I come, you can freeze butter. Don't forget. Yeah, that's gotta go up too. Butter. Watch. That's because they're killing all the cows over there. Well, they are. I mean, really going to kill 250,000 within the next couple of years. Yeah, that's an that's an for Ireland. for cow farts and global warming purposes. Right. So exactly. that's an Ireland. Gotta get rid of them cow farts. Yep, and 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 uh, not including Holland. Right. Come on, let's go. It's cold. Waterloo's on sale for eight ninety nine, and I like. Blackberry lemonade, peach, and cherry limeade. So, so you get, get what, 24 cans in there, right? Yeah, eight, eight, eight. Yep, 24 for eight for nine dollars. Trust me. Two for nine on the LaCroix, and you only get eight, 16 cans. Right. So that's worth it. I'm going to get two. All right. Wendy's doing all the heavy lifting now. Yes, I am. Because she works out. And because you can't, somebody has to. That's all right. We take turns, Harry. Oh yeah, she we works take out. Turns. Yeah. Okay, you guys, check out my basket. I think we're done. Got my cheese up here. My cheese. Do you need any uh, paperwork? TP. Yeah. No, nope. I think we're good with Charmin. Okay. Unless I think we should get one. We'll come next time because you've got another. You've got a uh, another whole set of treatments next week. Okay. They're on sale for eight. Kirkland Signature Bacon Crumbles on sale, eight eighty nine, and you can refrig, you can freeze them, and just grab what you need, you guys. Eight eighty nine. They're usually like ten bucks, ten something. Yeah. So I'm getting some. Oh, I just carried everything in. Yes, I'm, he did. I stood. Harry and gets to coordinate and point and tell me how to do it, but I'm the one who has to schlup it in and out. Got my bacon. Oh, look, you guys, we bought quail eggs. Yes, Paula, we're going to try them. Yes, indeed. Yep. Yes, indeed. In the pile <laughs> of bacon. And you guys, they have bacon crumbles on sale for $8.99. That's $2 less than what we normally pay. We usually pay right around $10.99-ish for those. So I got one. Butter. Holy moly. Kerrygold butter's up to over $14, you guys, almost $15. This is up to almost $11, $10.99. Yep. It started out at nine something. So I just grab one every time. And I found Gruyere, and that's how I'm pronouncing it, Le Gruyere. If it's wrong, that's fine. You don't need to tell me how to pronounce it because I don't care. It's Wendy Speak for delicious cheese. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, man. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Let's figure this out. Sorry, folks. Thank you all so much for all your comments. We truly appreciate them. Now, I got quail eggs. <laughs> the lady at the Costco door, you know, who checks you out, checks off your Costco stuff. It's like, why well, don't just under, I don't get it. I go, what? She goes, I don't get the quail egg thing. She goes, they're little. How many do you have to eat? And I said, well, how many eggs do you eat? She goes, well, that's the whole thing. How many of these do you eat? And I go, as many as you want. She looked at me like perplexed. And Harry goes, well, probably three eggs, three quail eggs would be the equivalent of one. And I said, well, what is really nice is you can hard boil them, put them in a pickle juice jar, right, where you have no pickles left, and then you can take out a little egg and eat, pop them in your mouth and have delicious pickled eggs, or you can use them as an hors d'oeuvre or anything like that. You know, she goes, oh, I never thought about that. And I thought, you know, yeah. So I bought some Paola. I'm gonna try some and see because they're supposed to be more nutrition than, nor, more nutritious than a chicken egg, and they're supposed to be super delicious, so I'm gonna try them. I thought, why the heck not? Right, Harry? Yep. Why the heck not? What else? Oh, yeah. Waterloo, they have this on sale. Everything's going up. On sale for $8.99, which is funny to think of. We're all buying water these days. But it's a 1, 2, 3, 24 pack. So $8.99 is a good price. Nine bucks is a good price. So, you know, with Zevia going up to $12 for 10 cans, they've got the, and they're now $12.99. And 
uh, like LaCroix and stuff is like six, Perrier is like $6 in the store, $6.99, it's crazy. Everything's going up, you guys, nothing's going down. Our gas is at least, mm, in the lower four. Oh, you mean as four, the rest of our reserves dollars. dwindle away? But that's another story and that's not keto. So anyway, you guys, we have been talking and we're gonna try to eat like an one meal, one big nice meal a day, and then have like a keto chow or something like a keto chow shake or keto chow ice cream for dinner. Now, if you don't have, you don't want, you don't like keto chow, Maybe if you want to do this with us, get the shake that you like the best that works best for you and your body. But remember, this is Harry and our channel, and we get to do what we want on our channel to help us lose weight, and we share with you, and you guys can come along the way. Yes, you can. So that, I think, is what we're going to do. I think we're going to do more beef, bacon, well, butter, and I eggs. Think health is, more. is very important. It is. Health is extremely important. Okay, so... so we're trying to stay healthy, Harry, through all of the things that he we're paying to have done to him and that we're finally getting answers to. The MRI he took yesterday for his lumbar and his um, hip, we find out about on Monday. Yes, indeed. But the good news is he's doing better. Today he was very sore and needed this treatment because of laying on that um, metal table in the MRI, super still, strapped in, and unable to move for 45 minutes, did have an effect on his low back and his uh, hip. And um, yeah, so we just gotta find out what's happening. And in the meantime, we w went for our walk and I got all this stuff. What are you looking at? Are y'all done with that? I, did I say, I think, I, I don't know, I'm jumping all over the place because I'll tell you, I'm still hot, you guys. It's very hot. I'd like to sit down for a very few minutes. Hot. Oh, Harry needs to go ice his back, then we'll come back because he's supposed to ice his back twice uh, now that we're back. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. Yes, indeed. Wendy's done rattling now. Change your plans, everybody. We've got sharp cheddar cheese, some bologna, some bread, some leftover... Well, Harry, you should have just finished it. No, I left that for you. You should have finished it. I ate half. A, a dollop of egg salad and some Jones's Brunschweiger because Harry's back is really, really bothering him quit. from quit holding the camera. So we he's going to quit. We need to stop. Put all my Costco stuff away and I've got meat to cook. But you guys, I've got ribeye steaks to cook. Yes, I do. And after these go in, I'm going to cook my chicken thighs, boneless skinless chicken thighs that I marinated in pickle juice. And then I'm going to right now get some bacon in the oven. So we're going to get some bacon, some chicken, and we're going to be eating these. So I've got to get cooking, you guys. I'm going to put this in. terrible mood. You don't feel good. You don't feel good because you were poked and prodded and kneaded like a loaf of bread, man. You're not in a good mood. No, not in a good mood. Well, I'll do this. Maybe. Maybe I'll do it. I'm so used to my Harry doing all this good stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys, just so you know, Harry and I can't eat pecan flour or almond flour. For one thing, it's got a ton of oxalates in it, high in total carbs, and so we can't eat anything with them in it. Maybe once in a blue moon, one little cookie or something as a treat treat. And he can't have oat fiber either because it can cause gout. So we have to be careful. You know, all the things you guys shared with us, we really appreciate it. But man, do you know it takes 100 to 120 pecan halves to make one and a half cups? Think about that. And then almonds, it takes about 72 almonds you know, for a cup. So that's a lot of oxalates and there's phytates as well in there. So we just get, we just learned that we get inflammation and it may not show up one time, but it could show up if you're continuing with it. So we just kind of stay away from it. And um, 
we have to be careful with that. I don't want to go back to wearing an arm brace. And Harry has a diverticuli, so he does not want diverticulitis. So, and you know, gout. and he does not want gout. If anybody has ever had gout, man, oat fiber, got to be careful. Got to be careful with some of the ingredients. And like some of the people said about the Chompies bread that we had, you know, it, can't, it contains wheat gluten. It contains some soy. You got to read ingredients. You got to be careful. All the recipes that are out there and stuff is not always something that you and I, Harry and I, can use. Could be the best, the best thing on planet Earth, right? But if it's going to cause inflammation or cause mm -hmm. you to gain weight instead of lose weight, then you have to rethink it. And for us, it's inflammation. Oh my gosh, inflammation. And you know it's funny because we didn't know we didn't know almonds until we did our first elimination diet, our first carnivore elimination diet that almonds, we were eating almond milk, we were cooking with almond flour, and Wendy was to the point where I was on an arm brace, hand brace, if you guys see some of our old videos where I have a wrist brace on, I went into the doctor thinking I had carpal tunnel. And then I thought, well maybe if it's not carpal tunnel, I had all these tests and it was like, something going on, you're, you're inflamed too, and we didn't realize it until we did the carnivore and all of a sudden, it was like, I'm pain free, started using the MSM Pure, and we kind of, I think it wasn't you who figured it yeah. out. Harry figured it out, and that's like, you know what? I think it's almond milk. So we did a test, and yep, sure enough, a couple days back on it. Now we can have an almond cookie or dessert at Christmas or New Year's or something like that, but not something all the time. Not something all the time. So, got to watch just, the uh, pecan flower. Oh, yeah. And see, the thing with really pecans is Harry's allergic to walnuts. Pecans are very close yeah, I'll to have, it. I'll get like uh, bumps and stuff. Like yeah, he gets, he gets canker sores yeah. super quick on, the, on his tongue and stuff. He, we just stay away from nuts. And that's why most of the doctors, Dr. Eric Westman, Dr. Ken Berry, you know, have one or two little teeny handful you it. know you gotta be careful you go down a slippery slope at least i do macadamia nuts and i oh my gosh i cannot have a container of them in the house because i will eat the whole container well, yeah, there's a couple of cooks out there keto cooks that push it a lot because they're not bothered by it well they're not bothered for it you know, by it so and they can use kind of, it they're and lucky <laughs> they are lucky very lucky yeah well uh, yeah it's it's great if, if that's something you can have and you can lose weight on it and uh, oxalates don't bother you, phytates don't bother you, I say go for it because everybody's body's different, you know, and stuff looks fantastic. We, I got a $100 coupon from my company to go to this keto company that's out here that makes all kinds of baked goods and all kinds of keto stuff that you can order ahead of time. And you know, they have two things that are made with coconut. The rest is all almond. All of it. Every single one of it. It's just something I just, we just can't do, so, you know. I, I read something about if you have a lot of pain in your joints. Yep. You should stop eating nuts altogether. Oh yeah, you did, and if you're oxalates, you gotta be really careful, be really especially careful. the ones with the skins. I mean, if you're gonna eat almonds, and you have oxalate issues, make sure you get blanched ones that have none of the skin on it because the skin is the part that's high in oxalates. You know? You're making a mess over I there. know, I'm trying to figure it out. You guys, the bacon is not, I'm not hairy. He, 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 would, he would be over here just picking these things up. Part, don't look, don't look there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that works. It'll taste just the same. I get so upset when we go to keto places and there's almonds and everything. And once in a while is okay. I mean, I can't believe the amount of soy we were eating as vegans. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the amount of wheat we were eating. No wonder I was sick and bloated all the time. It's just, it's just amazing how your eyes get open and you're going, well, no wonder this or no wonder that, right? No wonder we 
Wendy's making a mess. It's because Harry's not making the bacon. Harry's the best bacon maker ever. This bacon isn't cut very well. That's oh, what it is. I'm blaming it on the bacon. It's I'm gonna. Thin. I'm gonna. I, I, that's right. It's real thin. It's, it's not cut right. I'm, I'm blaming it on the bacon, not on Wendy. Harry, you guys came home and he had to get on ice. He was starving, so I gave him the rest of the bologna. I had a bologna sandwich. Bologna and cheese, and he had a uh, little bit of the egg salad, and I'm talking a little bit. It was this little teeny weeny bowl. So he had that, he got to do his ice, got to lay down, but I said, I've got to make some bacon for tomorrow, man. I, I want some bacon. I said, I got to cook the meat that's in the fridge. Oh, okay, he said. So that's what we're doing. How come you it's do It's a meat this? cooking day, right? <laughs> it is. How come yours looks prettier than mine? Because I, I just know how to do it. You do? It's like me trying to peel eggs the way you peel eggs. You slop that on top, you pull this over. <laughs> Make sure the two ends meet perfectly. Oh, I know you do that too. I'm just getting it on here somehow. There. It's all right, it'll all cook the same. I hope so. Might even taste better all. Wad it up screwed. in a knot. <laughs> well, they do make bacon yeah, knots. Man. Somebody makes bacon roses. I've seen bacon yeah, knots yeah. before. I've seen bacon, uh, yeah, roses. Yeah. Knots. Yeah. One of the uh, carnivore people makes those all pretty. Now that one's pretty. That one's that one looks pretty decent. good. That's decent. That one was just cut this cuckoo. One, uh, it's okay. Looks good. It'll work. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yes. Okay, I'm putting them in the oven. I, I use a cold oven, turn it to 400, and I cook these for about 45 minutes, but I check them. These ones are really thinner than the last ones, so we'll see. Yeah, they are. They are. They're thinner. Uh -huh. Oh, I was cooking bread. I was cooking bread. Remove the racks. Do those racks look even? I can't see from yep, these sideways. Keep me on track, Harry. Keep me on track. Okay, when the steaks are out, we're gonna have a delicious ribeye steak for dinner. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have my steak, and while the steaks are cooking, I'm gonna put in my chicken, which I'm gonna put these in the sink. I'm gonna put my chicken. I'm gonna put my chicken thighs in. Yep. Because they are delicious. Oh my gosh, we love it. We're loving. Marinated chicken and pickle juice. Oh man, it's so, so good. So good. In fact, I almost don't want to have it any other way. It just is so good. They just stay moist and delicious, even if you're, if even if they're leftovers. Yep. Start. Bacon, ribeye. And delicious chicken. What more could a girl ask for? Well, maybe some diamonds. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the next segment. I smell the beef. Yes, I do. Ooh, yeah. Oh, you guys, I can't tell you how glad I am to see some beef like that oh, on yeah. my plate. Oh, yeah. And all of this beef tallow that's right in here, my chicken's going right on top. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> What's your, your camera's thinking on its own? Yes, that's it. Okay. AI, AI. AI. Well, let me let me move the beef over and let me grab the chicken out. I'll just put the chicken in with this and then wash the tongs. Chicken. I'm telling you, this chicken is so good. It is the easiest thing in the world to make. All I do. Yeah, it's gonna spill all over. Oh, okay, you. okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear. Thank you. I just put a little bit of Redmond organic seasoning on this chicken, and that's it. It's so good. This stuff is heaven. Ooh, you know what I may do tomorrow? No tell them. I may make us a chicken salad with this. I bet you that would be heavenly. And because we got bread, right? Mm -hmm. It's so hot here trying to cook. 
having an extreme heat warning. You guys, I feel so bad for people in Vermont and stuff that are getting this terrible, um, all across the country, the heat and the uh, storms, the flooding. Oh, man. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, is right. And Palo Verde Hills, where the whole thing's sliding down, we know. We were yeah, born we, and raised in Southern right. California. We know exactly where those houses are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Something Hills? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, California's always had earth moving, though. They've we always... always call them the running hills because yes. they actually move. Yes. <laughs> Well, PCH Highway there on Highway 1 before you get to where SeaWorld used to be, that whole part of that road keeps moving. Yeah. Remember, they've had to move yeah. it. You can it's, see where it's, it's moved it, through the years. It, stops. it never stops moving. I don't know why it never stops moving, but it doesn't. It's weird. It's the earth, you know. Earth. It's California, man. Yeah, California. What do you sh want? Shake, rattle, and roll. Yep. That's what we used to say. Shake. We'd lay in bed and go, Okay, we get awake, woke up, and we lay up and go. Oh, that was that wasn't even a 4.0. We can go back to bed, right? All right. Uh, we would have bets on uh, what the Richter scale said for what the earthquake was. Yes, yes. There you go. In the good old days, organic season salt and pickle juice. It's the best, you guys. It's the bomb. It's the bomb. So I put them in, oven's preheated, 25 minutes at 400 degrees, then I will temp them to make sure they were up to 165, 165 for poultry. Yes, indeed. So you guys, come back, but we are gonna sit down and each eat a steak, <laughs> because we can. Ooh, 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 dinner is served is served mm, this smells good beef it's what's for dinner we finished our steaks about 10 minutes ago and the chicken just dinged but harry said something very interesting harry come over here and tell me what you just said to me I ate that steak it was absolutely fabulous but my stomach burned afterwards it's burning right now so maybe he is sensitive to beef, yeah. and maybe his sensitivity test that he took, which says he is missing the enzymes, trypsin and chymotrypsin, these guys, however you say them. I don't need to be told how to say them. That's how you say them. Right. Um, these break down specifically protein and fats and beef is protein and that's what he just ate and he has not had beef he had one time in tombstone yeah but I did okay well you I took had, these I, no i had uh i didn't have beef there i had uh pork chops oh that's right you had pork chops and eggs yep so he just took these so it, there could be something to it. Is he going to not eat beef? I don't no. think so, but I think he needs to be taking these just to make sure that he has them in his system. So, you guys, I don't know. I am starting to sniff. So, if you hear me sniffling, that could be my sensitivity to beef. I don't know. But I noticed that my nose started running, and uh, I don't know. Am I gonna stop eating beef? No, I love beef. But it's just interesting, and it just, like I said, knowledge is power, right? Look at that, ho, ho, ho. Yum dilly yum shiss. Now, something you guys did not see me do, let me put this all down here. Cause you're gonna go, how'd you get that beautiful golden color to your chicken? And my nose is running. That's funny, sorry. Yeah. Um, besides using organic season salt, when I flipped them at uh, 12 minutes, I put some Pluck Spicy. This has organ blend in it, plus oh. all kinds of delicious spices. There's no sugar, there's no MSG. It's great quality product. I sprinkled this on and that's what gave it this deliciousness on top. So I'm very excited about that. And I'll let this cool off. Where'd you get that at? I got this, I bought this at KetoCon oh, 2023. Okay. All right. So, yep. 
delicious. Love it. Bacon's got about six more minutes, you guys, and we'll be taking out one tray and then letting the other tray cook probably for about five more minutes. So come back. We'll get some bacon done. We'll get this meat cooking done. Yes, indeed. Bottom tray is done, not the top. Woo, I can't see when that happens. Mm -hmm. It's like that steam factor. Careful. You move, please. I want to get that one a little bit crispier. I like it crispy. Ha! Oh, man, you guys. Whew. These earrings aren't real, so they don't get hot, hot. But my rings do. Gold and silver get instant hot near heat because they, they're a conductor of heat. So you wear them outside here? Yeah. Oh. You don't want to wear uh, gold rings or silver rings if you're doing, getting yourself a sunbathe. You're sunbathing in 115 degree weather. You can weather. burn your fingers, it'll burn literally. Your finger. You have to be careful. If you can get your rings off at all. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, look at that, look at that. Mm-mm-mm, looks delicious. Looks delightful. Mm. We're all ready for our BBBE and keto chow. But I'm gonna make something tomorrow that uh, I was gonna that, make today. B -B -B -E -K? Oh, no. It's just carnivore ish we're doing carnivore ish because tomorrow what is that that's bacon bits no that's a that's oh that's that fly harry be good <laughs> i don't know about that that's mm. no you know what that is i'm gonna have to throw away this i'm gonna have to cut that out and i'll tell you why oh it's plastic yes yeah. it's plastic it's a plastic off the container yes it is that's why i look well, look at myself very carefully I know you. You do better than I. Yes, I'm I not, do. I'm I, not, do. I'm, I, I do. Are, I will admit, I do. You are the bacon. Do better. You're than the you. bacon king. You are the bacon king. I need you to get well, Harry, because you're the, the bacon, bacon king. king. The bacon king. The bacon king. It's like a song. Right? It is the, the muffin the man. King. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> you're using the muffin man melody. Yeah. I've been getting all day long. Look at that piece. I don't know what Wendy was thinking. What was Wendy thinking? I don't know. But I got to cut that other piece off, but I'm only cutting where the plastic was. Well, yeah. There's no don't need, waste there's no need to waste it. Hmm. Do you want a uh, keto chow tonight? Yes, please. I like ice cream. We had key. We had Go egg. Ahead. Can we, we have it as an, as an ice cream? Sure. We had eggnog ice cream yesterday. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. The day before that, we had... Chocolate banana with peanut butter drops in it. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, but you should wait and see what Wendy's gonna make tomorrow. Oh, well, I've never made uh, it before. Don't say it. Okay. They can't know. Okay, well, do you brought it up. You but brought the, it up, I, I just let them know there's something gonna be happening tomorrow. What flavor, what flavor ice cream do you want? I'm gonna let you choose this time. I've chosen the last oh, I kind of want key lime. I want uh, something more. Okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll guess. Key lime, oh my god. Um, uh. What? Pardon me? Oh my gosh. Beep, beep. Key lime, really? Yes, I want key lime. I've made you all your flavors. I want something refreshing and delicious. I want key lime. I don't know if I want key lime or not. So what do you think about that? Okay, what kind, no. of, what kind of you want? Chocolate peanut butter. I am so sorry, but we're out of chocolate peanut butter. We're out of chocolate toffee. We're out of caramel macchiato. We're waiting for our order to come. And we have key lime. Thank you. That's what we're having. See you in, uh, oh, 25 seconds. Then we're going to have more bacon. So I'm going to go check out the keto chow real quick. Hold, please. <gasps> Look, we've got key lime. I'm so excited. Oh. Terry's not a lemon or a lime guy. He puts up with me. He'll eat it though, cause it's cold and delicious. So we're having key lime. I rule this time. You've had all your flavors all week. This one's mine, okay? I rule this time that we're having key lime. That's right. <laughs> cause we don't have chocolate peanut butter. We don't have, we're out of a lot of flavors, dear. So, okay, where are we? Oops, let me clear this. There we go. Okay. You gonna take it out? Mm-hmm. Watch out here. Yep. Come out of the way. Because I get skittish. 
Oh yeah, that looks beautiful, doesn't you it? You got a good hold on it. I do. Oh, more bacon, look at there. Watch out, dear. I'm not closing the door. Show him good. You can use Granberry Farms flavor drops, get your favorite kind from him, and uh, change up the ice creams. Yes, indeed. I got all kinds of them coming because I'm having ice cream because you guys, it is so hot. I'm, I'm not even kidding. How hot is it, Wendy? It is hecka hot here in the desert. All of our grass is turning like brown. We have no grass. Our grass grows in the winter, not in the summer. And then I, I'll just put this on and, uh, ooh, we got lots of uh, bacon gold too. Mm -mm -mm. It's so hot here in the summertime, our ice cream man, he doesn't sell ice cream, he sells croquettes. A croquette is a cute, it's not a meat ball, but it is like a, a mound of meat and yes. it's breaded and it's fried. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it! Am I blonde? She figured it out! Am I blonde? It's too hot for ice cream, so he's gotta sell hot items. Oh, okay. It's the blonde in me! Don't get, in you. don't get mad. Ooh, look at that piece. Piece of bacon gold. I am so jazzed. Wait a minute. I gotta put the, all this away. Right there, right there, right there. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ho, 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 yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Score. You gonna eat that? Oh. Would you like it? No, I'll give it to no. you because you're letting me have key lime out no, of the kindness no, of your heart. No, I don't want it. Uh-huh. You don't mean bacon. Mm-hmm. Or you can take it or leave it. I can take it or leave it, you know, mm -hmm. bacon, you know, no mm -hmm. problem. Here. Okay, so you don't want this. What, that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Because I, I don't want to make you have something you don't want. No, I don't, uh. Mm. You gotta have it to understand it. Yes, you do. Okay, key lime mm. coming up. But you know what, watch out, Sally's behind you. I think we're gonna go ahead and close out now. <coughs> yeah. Cause we're gonna not have our ice cream yet. We're gonna wait about yeah. 10, 15 more minutes cause we had that delicious uh, ribeye steak. So everybody, if you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally is saying good night. She says, I cannot you, wait. She I says, must have it now. Yes. She says, we, you guys are keep making things. You guys keep eating things. Keep making things. It's delicious. She smells it. It's She's, a meat day. She says, Mama, I'm a dog. How about a beef organ blend on your mark? Yes, I go. Oh, oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Sorry, I dropped it. My bad. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, indeed. <laughs>